Hey guys, this is a uh, mango meditation here. Um, I get a lot of questions about armadillos and razorbacks and stuff, so I figured I'd make a video on how I one of the ways I make armadillos. We'll see if it'll work out. Now I am going to do a dual core armadillo. So, I mean, you can practice on one core, which is a lot easier. It doesn't get twisted up; you don't have to straighten as much. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to be using is just a loop piece of 24 gauge uh, Nichrome 80 Maniac Industries comp wire and what I'm going to do is mount this in my swivel and I'm going to be using .4 ribbon to do an armadillo. You can use .3 but it's very difficult. You can use .8 you can do .5 as well but just remember say you have this is your two pieces of ribbon or just just your ribbon. Each one represents um, 0.4. So what you basically have to do is overlap that on half of the other wire. So in order to do that without it going back on itself, you have to achieve the right the right angle with your nylon pliers. Now I do razorbacks straight up and down like this, but armadillos I tend to either go this way which I don't use often anymore or back like this so it's kinda hard to explain you get the feel for it so I'm gonna try to show you I'll be using is this uh, Maniac Industries .4 ribbon and what I use is this beetle line because I actually take this roll and let it hang down between my legs near the floor it doesn't matter which direction you go either counterclockwise or clockwise whatever's comfortable for you I tend to do uh, counterclockwise. See how that works. So basically, I'm just going to get this started. Started enough to get my pliers out the way. And then I'll get my spool down between my legs, down on the floor, near the floor. All right, so when I do a traditional Razorback, I grab the wire like this. Let's see if I can get you a better view of it. Zoom in. I get you a better picture. I grab it like this, and then I turn this straight up and down, and that gives me the Razorback. Now, in order to do an armadillo, you almost have to achieve that uh, same height, but you kind of have to rock it back a little bit. Now with two cores it's a lot different than one core on the angle that you use. So you're just gonna have to work with it and waste a lot of ribbon wire, I guess, so to speak. So I'm gonna try to see if it'll work for me. For some reason it doesn't wanna lay properly. So I'm going to try changing the angle again. Let's see if I can get it any better. I'm actually going to go slightly this way. Once you get the angle, just hold it there and just keep on going with the wire. Damn it, my spool got caught. Well, anyway, you get the general idea of how you do it. It's very beautiful, especially on 24 gauge, it's really wide. So, um, let me see if I can get you a macro of it. Why not? I will say also, another tip is that you don't squeeze too hard on the ribbon here because it will snap off if you squeeze too hard in here but the tension in between here and the angle controls how fast it feeds how close the uh, clapton is the armadillo so it almost looks like a flat ribbon clapton here but once you wrap it it will open up and give you that thin look Let's see if I can get a closer picture
So, I mean, it could have been a little bit tighter, but it'll work. Let me pause this and wrap it so I can show you. So I actually, when I paused it, I just went ahead and finished out the wire to see if it was straightened out. And the armadillo did pretty good. So I know I need to make a better video. Maybe when I get my new camera or phone, I'll show you. But I'm going to pause it, cut this off, and wrap it and show you what it looks like. All right, so I'm back. I coiled these guys up. And as you can see, they look pretty neat, a little dirty, they need to be washed up. But you can see how the armadillo is made. And you can actually helix, like a smaller gauge wire, in the fins. And I've also done some staggered variations and groove fusing of it. So, these I don't think I'm actually going to stage with anything, because 2x24, 5 reps, 3 millimeter, is going to be pretty, uh, pretty low already. Low enough. So... So you can get you a little bit better view of what they look like up here. So, all right, well, I hope this helps somebody. I'll make a better quality video and perhaps more in depth. And I don't know, if you guys like this, let me know what you think and any suggestions. I appreciate it. Thank you guys, peace.